What's happening, people? What's happening? Look here. Black people, we need to get it together straight up. We need to get it together and stop playing around. Life is not just about the fun and the games. Life is not about just having nice things, taking trips, eating good, smelling good, looking good, and fronting and faking like you're doing good. And even if you are actually doing good, that's good. But that's not all what life is about. It's just being good all the damn time. We have to learn how to really get to the point to where we are doing good and stop doing it just on an individual level because the bigger picture is that we still at the bottom of the barrel, y'all. We got billionaires that are black that don't help the black community, right? We don't have any black schools. Dr. Umar Johnson got this school that he was trying to um, put together that is still having funding issues with. I don't understand why is that when we got all these black celebrities that so-called got so much money that can't do anything for the community that claimed it to do for the community. Then the school that he was trying to uh, save got bought by a Chinese firm. Don't make any sense, right? We just get screwed all around the board, y'all. We get screwed all around the board. We don't help each other. There's no village. We have no black enclaves. You go all across America right now, and you can't, you can barely find a, a black neighborhood that stick together like a village, right? Everybody trying to outdo the next, outshine the next. You got people, it, it's just ridiculous, y'all. We still compete with each other when we got crumbs compared to what everybody else got. Everybody show off their little jewelry, their little cars, their little businesses, their little LLCs and stuff like they really doing something and ain't really making no noise. Yeah, you might be doing good for yourself, but what about the rest of your family? I bet you the rest of your family, I bet you your brothers, your sisters, your dad, your daddy, your mama, your aunties and stuff struggling in, in, in nothing but poverty while you over here talking about get to the money, get like me, be living good over here, all this little nonsense. Man, black people get on my nerves, man. It's sad to see that we don't even help each other, y'all. We don't help each other. You know, families don't come together. They do nothing. You put an event together for families to pull up and nobody pull up. It's always excuses. But y'all want to live in these white neighborhoods like these people really want y'all around them. Y'all can't, and y'all complain about gentrification though. Can't take care of your, your family homes, the family, the homes y'all grew up in, the neighborhoods y'all grew up in. Y'all drive uh, across town looking at these neighborhoods, talking about gentrification and white folks buying up everything, but won't help build or anything like that. We got black banks that are that are the center of our, fi our black finance, right? It should be, but we'd rather bank with the white banks. You know how banks get money? They get money through funding, yeah, but they also get money through selling bonds. Those bonds that they get, right, to sell are bought by the money you put into that bank, right? A lot of bank, a lot of black banks across this country have a lot of potential to do better if only black people would invest in black banks. If we come together and pool our money into these black banks, then you can get these black banks. We can we can put the people into in those banks that we want in these banks. Better yet, we can start our own black banks. We got a lot of entrepreneurs out here these days. They can we can come together and start our own black banks that aren't controlled by the powers that be or aren't uh a part of some go along, get along type of situation. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, man, we got to come together. We're doing bad right now. It's 2024 right now. And I'm telling y'all, I know I'm all over the place, but I'm just pissed off at the point in which we are right now. We vote blue no matter who. No matter who thinking that these big people really for us. Nobody's for us, y'all. You know who got to be for us? We got to be for us. Not nobody else. We can't depend on nobody else to come help us save us. That don't, that's BS. We got to do it ourselves. Trump ain't going to do it. Biden ain't going to do it. Kamala Harris ain't going to do it. These people come to us in a convenient time to show that they for us. Come on, They come on the breakfast club pulling out hot sauce. They going to have cookouts with rappers and stuff, eating fried chicken, talking about they vote for me. 
They got people dancing for her and stuff, performing for her. Like, what, what, what? Okay, what were you two years ago? Black people was doing bad ever since I can't remember. And the only reason black people are doing better than what they are doing, uh, what they have been doing, is because of the technology, the days that we are in. But at the, on an economic, from an economic standpoint, we're still at the bottom of the total pole, right? We push our money. In things that don't help us, we give our money to everybody who don't help us. Gucci, Louis, look at those. Look at the CEOs. They don't care about us. You got black-owned businesses, black-owned brands that are struggling because black people won't deal with them. We the only race that won't deal with each other, but we would rather deal with somebody else over our own kind. But then talk about then we have the audacity to talk about ourselves. Like, oh man, black people act like this. Black people do this, but we don't even do anything to help our own race. But we have. It's always got something to say about the next black person. We crazy, man. It's about to get real in the field, y'all. Black people don't know how to fish, don't know how to hunt, don't know how to swim. We don't know how to shoot. We don't got guns. We don't got nothing. If something pop off, we ain't ready. We're not ready for nothing. We're not ready for no race war. We're not ready for nothing. We don't train our kids. You see all these other, these others, they got their kids two years old, knowing how to swim. It's like they born to swim. We got these kids... Two, three, four, five years old chopping down trees and stuff. They can break down, uh, you give them something like a lawnmower, they know how to break it down piece by piece, and they can show you all the parts and what they do. We don't know how to do that. Our kids, only thing they know how to do is play basketball, which is nothing wrong with that stuff, but that's all we know how to do is stuff that don't even matter. And if something, if, if, when it comes down to survivalists, we're not that. We are dumbed down, y'all. This is not us. We are dumbed down. No white folks got us where they want us, y'all. And y'all, man, this 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 whole child support system is against us. This whole black woman over the black man culture was pinned against us. Yeah, the feminist movement, y'all look that up. It's a white lady that's still living right now. That was working with the CE, excuse me, the CIA. That helped guide us to the point that we are now that we're warring against each other. The black man versus the white. Uh, excuse me, the black man versus the black woman We hate each other Look at the dating pool, y'all We hate each other Man, y'all need to wake up, man Y'all need to wake up, man If Trump, if something would have happened to that man When that bullet flew past him, man I'm telling y'all, that bullet would have really hit him I feel sorry for the state of where we at right now, man Because we're divided, y'all The family's divided, nobody want to deal with nobody Because of whatever petty reason we got people pushing all these expensive cars that don't own nothing. We don't got no land. We don't got heavy equipment. We don't got farms. We don't got plants. We don't got schools. We don't got banks. We don't got hospitals. We don't have nothing but cars, haircut shops, salons, landscape companies, and trucking companies and stuff. And I'm not knocking this stuff. I'm just being real. Because all that stuff good and it had this part in society. But we don't really got nothing at large. When you look at society from a bigger lens, we don't, we're not, we're not, we're not that. We're not it, y'all. We're not there. We still at the bottom of the totem pole, y'all. I'm telling you. It's real out here, man. It's real in the field. It's real in the field, y'all. Where is the village? You go across the country. The Irishmen got their own villages. They got the the Italians got their own enclaves. They got sections of Boston, New York, Philly, Chicago, LA. San Francisco that are not that we're not invited at. You can't go to these places. They got sundown towns in America still that if you are black in these places, you will get caught in something, man. I'm telling you, you can't pass through without something that might possibly happen to you. But they can come to our neighborhoods now freely. Two in the morning, and I'm not promoting nothing, but two in the morning, a collar of the goons are past some white female walking a five thousand dollar dog. At two in the morning in the hood, and come on and come across somebody who look like me with bedroom shoes on, looking like he ain't got no money, and rob the hell out of him. Over this person, they'll pass up because they so scared to rob these people. And I'm not saying rob these people, but they'll rather rob us now, knowing we ain't got no money. We don't got nothing, man. We just petty. We we down bad, y'all. We down bad. We down bad, y'all. We got Filipino towns. We got Chinatowns. We got little Tokyos. 
We got all this other these other ethnic groups got their enclaves. The white folks got all their own stuff that they don't want us at. They get the communities and things like that. They got the HOA. Look at how the HOA came about. Nothing but racism, nothing but oppression. Right? Can't get mad about justification. If you don't fix up yourself, somebody else gonna move in and fix it up for you. And then kick you out and then up the rent and then and up the property value and, 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 and y'all talk about inflation. Man, get out of here, man. All this petty stealing, y'all running inside these stores, selling BS, thinking that's cool, talking about it's hard, but you're making it harder right there because when you when a business can't sustain itself because of theft, they raise the prices is in, in response. So is a, in, 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 so in the long run, the prices go up from theft. I'm not going to get into all of that, y'all, man. It's a lot I can get into, man. We just need to do better, man. I'm telling you. It's sad at where we at right now. It's sad. It's sad, y'all. I feel sorry for us because if there was something, something pop off, man, we not ready. We can't help each other. If if the power go out, I feel sorry for black people. If there's a race war, I feel sorry for black people. If there's a war against America and America falls down to its knees, like it's going, like it's headed already, I feel sorry for black people. We don't know how to do nothing. We can't survive. We can't survive. We don't. We're, we just not. We just. We just. We just too small and too content with what we got going on now. Like we made it. We have not made it nowhere, y'all. We live in finance culture. Everybody is the stuff you see people with is a lie. People don't own nothing. The phones they got making payments on. The cars they got making payments on. The homes they living in they either renting or making payments on. Nobody own nothing. Everything is a lie. People don't got money. People struggling out here. But everybody fronting and faking the flies and the flexing like they really got it and they don't. Everybody, it's like the poor lying to the poor. The peasants run around here flexed on each other while the powers will be sitting back laughing at us. And I know it's not all about race. It's about class and it's about how it is. It's about class and control. I understand that. But also race has something to do with it because you divide people strategically and one of the things to divide people with is race then you got the black man which is probably one of the strongest persons on earth that's the most oppressed because you got to keep the black man down i'm not gonna get involved i'm not gonna get into all of this y'all but uh on this one video right here y'all we gotta wake up man this is just we gotta wake up we got a lot to do man in this country we, we 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 down bad it's crazy how down bad we is we ain't made it y'all nobody got our best interest the only people who got our best interest is you it's me and you organize your family keep your circle tight keep a backup plan for the backup plan y'all it's time to come together it's real out here the next three months, these next three months, about to be something else. If Trump don't get this election, y'all, don't be out here acting like it's all good, taking trips and stuff. And I don't, I, and for that, and for that, for, and I'm gonna say this right here: if you out here thinking oblivious to what's going on, thinking that it's gonna get better, you're fooling yourself. It's only getting worse right now. Before stuff get better, a lot of times stuff got to get worse. Right now, we at a pivotal point in, in society to where everybody's fed up and looking for the savior. Everybody is tired of what's going on. So at times like this, it takes a revolution to change things, reform. And it's not going to come easy. It comes with, when you want to make drastic changes, drastic measures has to be taken. Stuff really has to happen. Sometimes bloodshed has to get spilled. A war has to come. Something has to happen to bring about peace. And that's how it happens. If you look at history, that's how it go. The reason why America going through the problems it's going through right now is because it's time for a revolution. The end with the out. Excuse me. The out with the old with the end with the new. It's happening. And it comes at a price. Nothing is free in this world, y'all. It's a cold world. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. My family, we need to get some land and come together and start playing. Everybody entrepreneurs and everybody talking about they doing this and that. But when, when stuff hit the fan, what we really got? We can, we can barely come together to organize a cookout. 
and have everybody put down without people complaining about, oh, well, why they contributed $10 and stuff. I had an event one time that I wanted to put out and people complained about buying a t-shirt. Where's the money going to? And I told them where the money was going to and they still asked where the money was going to and thought it was too much. When I was kicking off 95% of the money to finance the whole event, we can't come together for nothing, y'all. It's strength in numbers. Remember that. When you come together and organize, you can get stuff done. That's why they don't want us organized. These gangs and stuff. That's why they got gangs and junk junctions and stuff. And that's a whole other subject right there. But organization is what they're afraid of, y'all. This whole LLC culture, if we'd have known about this stuff or taught this stuff in school way back when, we'd have been far, further along. But see, they give us this stuff when it's convenient for them to give it to us because they got other look when they hit when they flip the switch and make it hard they can give us the little bs and think and, and now we thinking oh we made it now we found out something now we on something else who this behind me i don't know who this is behind me but anyway we gotta wake up y'all we gotta really wake up it's real out here man with that said i'm about to pay i'm about to tend to what's going on behind me and um y'all keep a backup plan for the backup plan